YouTube Red Viking Trucker. Let's talk about how to handle your clock. This is what my Qualcomm tracking clock looks like. And let's start from the bottom. Okay, every week, and pardon me for rolling around a little bit here, every week you start with the 70 hour clock. You see today I've already used up uh, 10 and a half hours. <coughs> okay, but 70 hours on duty is all you can do in one week. Now, once you start your day doing your pre-trip inspection, once you start your day, your 14-hour clock starts and it doesn't turn off. It doesn't matter whether you go on duty, off duty, driving, not driving, doesn't matter. Once your 14-hour clock starts for that day, it runs until the 14 hours are up. The 11-hour driving is where I, between the driving and the 70 hours on duty, is where you're gonna make your money, okay? For this eight hour rest break, this will reset if you uh, take a 30 minute break sometime after the fourth hour, you're down to four hours driving time. If you uh, take a 30 minute break, this will reset. But let's talk about the 11 hours driving and the 70 hours on duty. This is how I maximize my driving time. Whenever I stop at a shipper or receiver and I'm, I'm backed into the dock I go off duty and I go off duty specifically because even if they paid me let's just say a round figure of $15 an hour for detention pay that detention pay doesn't start till the second hour I'm getting paid 40 cents per mile to drive I'm better off staying off duty on down times like that than trying to make 15 bucks an hour because I have to stay on duty to receive that detention pay and most companies uh, will tell you that you need to stay on duty well I don't want to stay on duty and make less than I would make by driving because I'm, I'm making a substantial amount more so my driving time whenever I'm stopped for anything that I can legally I go off duty and I can't say you should do the same thing I'm just telling you how I do things you see today I've used 10 and a half hours. I'm almost at 500 miles. Now, I've used all but uh, 11 minutes of my 14 hour day clock. But every time I stopped, when I was waiting on a shipper or receiver or anybody to do anything, and I wasn't physically working, I was off duty. That's how I got almost 500 miles today. I think the count was 492. And I'm down to, like I said, you see, just click down to 10 minutes. Okay. But that's how I maximize my clock. I focus on the 11 hours driving and I try to drive and leave my driving clock available for as much driving as I can. You see today, I still have an hour and 10 minutes left to drive, but I've already hit almost 500 miles and I've only used 10 and a half hours of my 70 hour clock. Okay. That's how I do it, and I do it as legally as I can, staying within the guidelines. But there's no sense in me pushing for detention pay than missing in an hour because they won't pay me till the second hour of detention. Um, there's no sense in me pushing for that. I'm better off relaxing, resting, taking a, a break, and then being prepared to drive more after I go back on duty. Red Viking Trucker, because none of us get out of here alive. I hope these videos are helping. If they are, subscribe like and comment thanks for watching